What's going on and welcome back to the YouTube channel. I'm Brianna and I'm super excited because today is my two month lock anniversary. Yay! Hey, 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 hey. Exactly two months ago, I decided, you know what Brianna, cut the crap, cut the crap. We're gonna finally do it. So two months ago, exactly. I decided that I was gonna lock up my hair. This is what two months looks like. Also, yesterday had been one week since my first retwist. So my hair actually probably looks really, really good still. And I, I love that for me. I love that actually. Let me, let me give y'all a little back shot. What we got going on? Period. Anyway, so yesterday I went to go visit my sister and my nephew. Baby boy is so cute. This is literally my lock screen now. Cause I'm like, oh, my little chunky chunk. I love him. And it's funny that I call him chunky chunk cause he's really not that chunky. He got little chunky legs, but he's still really, really small. And he's also only two months. You get it? It's my two month like anniversary. Nephew's two months, period. Let's go, let's go. At the beginning of this journey, I was like, I'm literally going to document everything possible that I can. First of all, I still need to do my hair. Like, this is dry. I haven't done anything to her yet today. I haven't even put any water, or any hydration, or nothing like that inside of her. And later on, I need to oil, because I do oil my scalp once a week. I haven't done it this week yet. Usually I do it on Tuesday, today's Wednesday. Your girl is clearly slacking, besides the point. So yesterday I was over at my sister's and usually every time I'm over there or most of the time that I'm over there, she has something to drink and she's like, hey, you should try this. Cause listen, I'm 23, I'm not a huge drinker, but I'm like, you know, every once in a while, it'll be nice to have, you know, like a little beverage. Say I had a rough day at work and I wanna get home and have me a nice little beverage, but I haven't been able to find anything that I like. Every wine that I've ever tasted, I'm like, it just tastes like wine. I don't like it. I'm like, it's not giving what, what I need it to give. So I'm like, nah. But yesterday I had went over there and she was like, here, try this wine. And I was like, ooh, it was blueberry flavored. So I tried it. I was like, you know what? This is kind of hit. This hits. This hits. I was like, bro, where did you get this from? I'm gonna have to buy this for myself. And I think this is gonna be my drink. This is gonna be my drink drink. And she was like, oh, I got it from Safeway. Literally, sis lives across from Safeway. Like she, she could be to Safeway in two minutes. If that, she could walk to Safeway and be there in like a minute, maybe 45 seconds. That's how close she lives to the Safeway. But I also have a Safeway by my house because we live in two different cities. So I was like, you know what? Okay, I'm gonna go to the Safeway tomorrow. I'm gonna get it. And then it just dawned on me. Like I could really go and buy the wine and celebrate my two month lock anniversary. Also, I would just like to make a disclaimer. Usually I, I don't act this crazy on camera, but I'm the only person home. So I feel like I could be even more hype because I wouldn't be disturbing my mom. But also too, your girl is two months locked, baby. Let's go, let's go. We're gonna head out to the store and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna celebrate together, period. Cause I told y'all I'm bringing you and you're gonna see every bit of this lock journey. Let's get it. <laughs> I'm on my way back home from the store. So I got my drink from Safeway, right? Cause that's where my sister said she got it from. So I, I walk into Safeway. I'm like, oh, they have a whole little liquor section. I'm like, that's cool. I get in there and I'm looking for the exact one. I took a picture and everything. So I was like, I want this exact one that my sister gave me yesterday. Cause it was so good. So it was this and it was the blueberry. So I'm looking for the blueberry. I, I see the Stella Rosa. So I see the brand. I'm like, oh, there's the brand. Granted, this was the cooler. So as soon as I walked into the liquor section, I was like, oh, there it is. There's the Stella Rosa and i'm saying peach i'm saying red wine but i'm like i don't see the blueberry so your girl was getting a little sad i was get, i was i was getting a little sad so i was like what where's the blueberry fam so i was like uh, oh well so i just picked up the peach because i haven't tried the peach but it's fruity you know peaches are good so i'm like maybe the peach will be good so i pick up the peach and i get in line right but then i turn my head i'm like wait i see a whole other aisle of liquor that's how nervous I was, y'all. I didn't even walk around the whole liquor section. Cause I, I, if you if you look at me in person, I look like I could be like 14. So I know as soon as I walked in that section, the people were like, what is this child doing? What is this child doing in this section? She don't belong here. So I was just like, huh. So, you know, I'm getting ready to check out and I, I look and I see like three other aisles and I'm like, hmm. Let me go over to these other aisles and look because they might have the blueberry over there. So guess who found the blueberry? But it was on the shelf. So she's she's like room temperature. So as soon as I get home, I'm going to have to put her, I'll probably put her in the freezer. I don't want her to freeze, but maybe I'll put her in the freezer for like 
maybe two hours, maybe an hour and a half, an hour at the least, just so she could get super cold because I don't plan on drinking it till later. Not super late, but you know, maybe have it with my dinner or something like that. When it was time for me to check out, I was like, I'm so freaking nervous, bro. I have never, ever in my lifetime bought any alcoholic beverage from any store ever in my life. It's my turn to, you know, pay for my drink. So I have, I have my one bottle of Stella Rosa of the blueberry and I put it on the counter and the lady scans it and everything. And she's like, I need to see your ID. Super nice black lady, super nice. So she's like, I need to see your ID. And I'm like, okay. So I hand her my ID, right? And she looks at the ID and she probably puts in like my date of birth and everything, you know. I've been a cashier. I was a cashier for almost four years, so I know how it goes. We never sold liquor at the store that I worked at, but I know how it goes with the ID and all that. So, you know, she puts in my date of birth and then she's like, okay, this is your total. Why? was my heart beating out of my chest. When I tell y'all I feel like I was stealing something, I literally feel like I was stealing something or I was doing something wrong. Like I was not supposed to be buying that alcohol. Like, I was like, why do I feel like this? <laughs> I, I got the first time blues, you know, first time blues. But I'm really excited to have my own bottle of wine. This is not gonna be something I drink every day. Okay, it's not gonna be something I drink every day at all. A nice little beverage to me to have, maybe have a rough day. Maybe I just want to relax on like a Sunday. Pour me a you know, little nice glass of wine. And it's a good sized bottle too. It's not like super huge. And they had like a sale going on. So your girl got $2 off. So I think I paid like $13 for it. Anyway, when I get inside, I will show you guys the bottle and everything. But yeah, until then, I will see you guys inside. Okay, so I got my Stella Rosa right here. As you can see, she's shiny because I put her in the freezer obviously a little bit too long because she was frozen. She's starting to defrost. I'm gonna go check the mail. By the time I get back, we're gonna open her. We're going to celebrate in my room. We're gonna drink and just have a nice little chit chat because honestly, like today, obviously the main reason for me getting this was to celebrate my two month lot anniversary, period. Also, I got her wet, so she does look a little bit simmery. And I also did oil her, so, you know, she looks a little bit different than the first time you guys saw her this morning, but it is what it is. Yeah, I feel like I have so much more to celebrate than just my lock journey so far. Just thinking about life overall and things that I'm looking forward to and change that's happening. So I'm gonna go check the mail. I'm gonna pour my glass. We'll come back and we'll chit chat it up. I hope y'all are ready for the deep talks because we're gonna take it there. <laughs> we're gonna take it there. Back in late or middle-ish of March, we actually found out that my mom was diagnosed with cancer. And I bring that up because that set the tone for the past five months of my life. And that was really hard for me because my mom was in a lot of pain. She's had blood transfusions. She's had a couple of surgeries at this point and you know she's still fighting for her life and she's doing good she's actually talking moving around you know she has of course her good days and her bad days but you know just finding out that news really put a stem on my heart and I was like okay what does that mean for me what does that mean for our mom what does that mean for this family and a lot of that dimmed a lot of my decisions and where was where a lot of my decision making came from okay, my mom has cancer, so what am I going to do about this, that, and that? And kind of figuring out and trying to get some knowledge on what my life was going to look like. And looking back now, and being where I am right now in present day as I'm recording this video, I am so grateful. And I don't just say that with a grain of salt. I'm grateful that my mom is still alive and fighting for her life. I know that God has a plan for her. And from the jump, I told God, I said, you know what, God, I'm not even mad. And it was weird because I feel like anybody in my position, hey, you just found out that your parent is really sick and they have some form of cancer. You would plead and ask God, God, please don't take them away from me. You might even be extremely mad at God. You might even distance yourself from God because of it. Or maybe you grow in your faith and you get closer to him because of that. But for me, I wasn't even mad from the get go. I was just like, okay, God. I just found out that my mom has cancer. If it is her time to come and be with you, that's your will. If she's gonna stay here and fight for her life, that is your will. And at first I was like, am I crazy for not being mad at you? Cause I really feel like the typical person would be so mad at God and just be punching the air. 
in like all seriousness because especially when you have a relationship like me and my mom do <laughs> our relationship is untouchable y'all like it is untouchable and of course it has changed because there are things that she can do and things that she can't do still so that has kind of been like a bummer for me because when i wasn't working me and my mom were always going to the store together we would always go to church together we we did everything together <laughs> we did everything together we would go out to eat together it, it was just a grand time it was a grand time like we were the dynamic duo especially since my sister moved out and you know she has her own family that she's growing and working on and just getting that news like hey man my mom's sick what, what what am i supposed to do now you know that really just made me rethink my life entirely because i even have a video on the channel talking about how i'm going to move to portland i plan to move to portland at the end of this year and you know maybe this was a stem maybe this was a sign from god saying hey now it's not the time or maybe hey you're not supposed to be moving to portland at all so pump your brakes girl pump your brakes <laughs> pump your brakes okay this wine is so good oh my gosh i mm, it is so good y'all anywho the same time that my mom got cancer i think literally a week before we found out the news i literally had started a new job so i was thinking to myself okay what does that mean what what is this going to do for me in this new job because now i'm pretty much like the saddest person ever coming to work because I know my mom is sick and having to leave the house knowing that my mom is in pain literally I think for like a month straight before my mom had her first surgery I would leave the house and she would just be in extreme pain some morning she would be crying sometimes she would just be groaning and you know needing stuff and I'm helping her as best as I can but it's like okay mom I gotta go to work now and I felt so bad for leaving and just today in general again this was today was supposed to be all about my locks and it is all about my locks but it's also about life and it's about growth and it's about what kind of not only what kind of christian do i want to be because my relationship with the lord has been very interesting um in a multitude of ways but i kind of bring up the up the idea and the association of being grateful because first of all i don't know if you know it but i'm a christian <laughs> avi and i have battled with sexual sin i have battled with spiritual warfare i've battled with lust shameless plug i also have a podcast and i've talked about all of these things on it you can check it out right there just like thinking about all of this and i actually wrote a book about my struggles and how i was able to fully overcome some of that and how i'm still battling some of it like i haven't been able to 100 percent overcome every single one of those things there's still some things that i'm battling with so i wrote an entire book on how i'm pretty much working through that with my mentor and with myself but also also and most importantly with god and how my mom getting sick has kind of affected all of that and i got some amazing <laughs> news from my um associate publisher today who is publishing my book and I literally just approved the page design. So we, it, my book is fully edited. The page design is approved. So now we are going to be working on the cover design. So the page cover, so the front cover and the back cover of my book and what it's gonna look like. And then after that, we'll you know just continue to move on to the next phase until my book is fully released. So that is one of the blessings that just continues to remind me that God is faithful and that he has a plan for me and everybody else around me. But also this weekend, I got to spend time with my sister and my nephew and, you know, just being able to spend time with my sister and chit chat with her. She has a whole family now, you know, we're not deserted or anything. Like my sister will always and forever be my best friend. But also I have to consider and remind myself that she has a family now. She can't always just talk to me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like she can't always just talk to me. She has a whole little newborn little newborn i mean he's two months so he's not a newborn but he's definitely still a baby but you know she has a whole family and a whole set of friends you know in other not a other life but you know other things going on in her life and i want to respect that you know so really just thinking about my sister and her accomplishments and being able to spend time over there was so freaking special and honorable also shout out to her because she's the one who put me on to stella rosa wine blueberry i i will forever thank thank her for this because this is some good wine y'all this is some good wine period it's just been a buildup of so much on top of my lock journey because you girls two months now i don't know if you knew if you didn't know now you know mm -mm. 
if you know that you know <laughs> but you know it's just i love how i'm taking on this new form of my hair and i was actually really concerned because you see all of those straggly ends i literally made a video on tiktok i was like y'all is this normal is this normal what am i doing wrong <laughs> like is my hair about to fall out for real they're like no it's normal it's just a part of the starter lock phase and i'm actually getting you know i've had quite a few people tell me hey i've been locked for a year hey i've been locked for two years hey i've been locked for three years and that that's still happening to my locks and you know they're mature enough but that you know it's still happening so i was like whoo thank goodness so it's not anything i'm doing wrong that, that that's just what they do and a couple of my my locks have actually started to bud so i also love that i'm getting plenty of shedding from my split and dead end so that also is actually really great and remind, reminds me of my natural hair journey days so love to see that but i you know just really in deep thought like super in deep thought and i don't know what it is but i definitely have to say that my lock journey has sparked a lot of confidence it has sparked a lot of patience <laughs> okay a lot of patience a lot of new knowledge because again i come from the natural hair world where i was an expert your girl literally had a whole natural hair business but you know we live and we learn and now i'm you know again taking on a new form of my hair i'm taking on a new form of my faith i'm taking on a new form of trying to build friendships and relationships with people and really trying to find the balance between what I want out of life and what I don't want out of life. So it just all has really started to come together. And I know this is probably not the deep talk that you expected, but I feel like it's definitely one that was needed. I know there's somebody out there that needed to hear this, but I just truly want y'all, first of all, I want to say thank you for watching today's YouTube video. But most importantly, I want you to know that God loves you, that I love you. You're so freaking, you're so loved. I can't tell the story in this video because it's a super long one and I'm trying to keep this video sweet and short even though I just got real deep on y'all. But I'm trying to keep the rest of this video sweet and short. But God loves you no matter what you've been through. And I know a lot of bad things that may happen to you. You're probably wondering, okay, um, if God was real, why did he let this happen? The short answer is this. All good things that come to you are from God. All bad things that happen to you or come to you or for you, it's a great, great, great possibility that that is the enemy, devil, Satan, whatever you want to call them. But that's also, also, also a really great, 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 great possibility that that's just life. And that's that's just something you have to roll with. You know, every bad thing doesn't come, come from Satan. It's just life happening. <laughs> you know, it's just life happening just because I slip and fall. You know, maybe I slip and fall in front of like a guy I really like. That's not the devil coming for me. That's just life. I I just had a bad moment. <laughs> you know, not 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 every not every evil thing in the world is is coming after to get you for small stuff like that. But you just really keep in mind the choices that you're making and know that you're love. This channel is all about love. It's all about growth. Your girl is turning 24 next month. 24. I can't believe it. And I'm finally just like getting the idea of what my I want my life to look like in terms of friendships, relationships, career-wise, faith, family, everything, you know, just considering all of it, but also making sure that I'm tying everything back to God and back to Jesus and back to the Holy Spirit. Because at the end of the day, at the beginning of the day, really, that's what drives me. That is what drives me is God, the Holy Spirit, Jesus, the Holy Trinity. That's what drives me. And I feel like that's what should drive you, but I'm not going to put my faith on you. It's, you know, it's just something to think about. Let me know in the comments if you are a fellow believer. Say what up if you are. And if you aren't, it's just really something to think about because there is a lot of darkness in this world. I'm not downplaying that at all. I've seen it on the news. I've seen it happen in real time in front of my eyes. I've grown up seeing certain things that I probably shouldn't have seen and probably mentally have allowed me to mature in a way that other people my age haven't been able to mature because of what I've seen. And some, it, it's just life, you know, you kind of have to roll with the punches, but you also 
have to make sure that you are keeping yourself accountable for the things that you are doing in response to what has already happened to you or what is going to happen to you okay i'll go ahead and end in here but again cheers is to being halfway through the freaking year we're in june <laughs> we're halfway through 2024 i love you thank you for watching today's youtube video cheers to being two months locked and again just thank you for watching my content i'm always so grateful for any and everybody who watches my content even if they don't watch it all the way through but again if you're seeing this you pretty much watch it all the all the way through but i'm grateful i'm blessed i'm excited i love you guys thank you for watching today's video and i will catch you in the next one Mwah. Bye. <laughs>